index limb is all kinds of messed up. Uh, you'll see big old hackberry limb, and it's got like a it's got like a fissure or like a rupture or something at the base. It's just it's not right. down and one comm line. We've still got these three comm lines. So. Alright, here's the uh, funky lamb situation. You can see down in there, that's our fissure. I got a ratchet strap on here a couple days ago just to hopefully hold it. And it was, it was taken off a little bit of the weight. And then this whole branch. So we got one, two, three, that's coming last. This is kind of like the middle stuff. And this guy will go first. By the way, that's Jim down there. He and I have worked together on a few jobs. He's kind of doing his own thing. He's got like a landscaping job here. And I'm just taking the limb out. So I think he might help me out later. But right now he's just kind of jimming it up. Heads up, there's a limb coming down here. Uh, this is one of those moments where you realize from the ground you only see half the story so i tied into this guy and this guy and this one's half rotten i mean it's still strong but it's not like what you'd hope for in a tie-in point so i'm just gonna change that up heads up there's two big ones coming down Heads up right here. Dumper, I think it's a 1964. Yeah. It's They're hard to keep them running. Yeah. It's hard to keep them running. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a weird situation. This, uh, spindly little thing I'm standing on is actually supported by the other limb I don't know if you can see that so that's why it's not flexing and it's a little bit stronger can't like trust it but it's just kind of better than you think
Yeah, so a big limb goes three ways. We took care of number one most of the way, number two most of the way, and this is number three. This is the more complicated step over the house. You know, kind of leaving it till I'm tired and stuff. I will be the first to admit that this is one of those ones we could have got standing on the roof. So it's probably a matter of pride to try to rig it. But if it goes south, it doesn't work out. I guess it'll become a matter of shame. Pretty good. You can maybe tug it and give it a little direction. <laughs> I mean, I know we're trying to hit those wires, but <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at some point we're gonna hit them. I'm giving you some slack. That's a good spot right there. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't do another swinger. Get this one kind of double tied to kind of balance it. a little smaller but is that it it's starting to go here we go there we go you gotta love those stubs man those stubs will get you out of a jam now Jim I know I keep asking you for stuff but you want to pull this guy? I got it. I'm just pulling it steady. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. This could have hold a woolly rhino. <laughs> a woolly rhino. I haven't seen a woolly rhino in a while. Seems like Jim just yells sometimes. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> Might be yelling at the dog. Uh, basically, I'm setting up a span, span rigging dealio. My point's just not high enough to really swing it, so I'm gonna span it and then kind of lower it in the hole. It sounds funny, but it's gonna be good. Swing it down the span, maybe? Yo, your key. Oh, amigo! Yeah, you got it? All right, sweet, thank you.
Just uh, stub management here. One o'clock. Uh, I've got like 45 minutes to get this done. Power company needs a call by two. I got like the slowest pump ever. Like, like really, really slow. <laughs> 